the Badman Police, a Jamaican Badman Police, the story of Isaiah Leng. Rugged former crime fighter Isaiah Leng has uh, been shot in combat three times, fired at 60 times, and has uh, recovered close to 400 illegal guns in the 20 years that he spent in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. The current Chief Executive Officer of Supreme Promotions and host of the popular annual Boxing Day Ricky Show, Sting. The CEO of Sting? Magnum Sting tonight for sure. Magnum Sting yeah. tonight. said he wouldn't change a thing about his experiences taking on some of Jamaica's most ruthless criminals even 22 years after leaving the force. Leng, a cousin of former Prime Minister, Portia Simpson Miller has a log of his 20 most memorable gunfights with some of the island's most notorious criminals. Among them, Christopher Natty Chris Henry, the former Arnett Guard and Badman who died violently during a fight with the police some years ago. Stop. Leng, we understand you have a book coming out. What is the name of your book? The book is called Point Blank Range. Once known as the man who cooled jungle because of his determination to frighten away gunmen in South St. Andrew, Leng, now 61 years old, admitted to being shot at by Natty Chris 19 different times before other police personnel got the wanted man in an area called Top Jungle. The former detective sergeant of police who served the force from 1976 to 1996 when then Commissioner Colonel Trevor McMillan, now deceased, did not renew his contract. Got his first taste of a guns business end a mere five months after he graduated from the police academy. The former Marley Hill Primary and St. Catherine High School student was shot by a gunman along Matthews Lane in West Kingston while he was stationed at Denham Town. Yeah, and I survived it. It was that, that moment was a very terrifying moment for me, but I don't panic. Panic is not in my book. That's why I don't have a car accident because I don't panic. He had been on a foot patrol with two soldiers one evening, but changed his patrol routine when he found that the gunmen were timing the security forces trek through the streets and would commit crime once they had passed. I went up Matthews Lane and sent the two soldiers up Rose Lane and one of them would meet me back at Matthews Lane. I walked halfway up Matthews Lane, turned back and when I was coming down, walking against the wall, as I reached a point and started peeing around a wall, my eyes on a gunman's eyes made four. He was doing the same thing, peeing around the corner. So I couldn't do anything but grab him. He had a brown paper bag in his hand and I heard bloom and felt my hand got a bullet. I was so frightened. One soldier was behind me but he was not seeing me. It was when he heard the gunshot he realized that something was happening. I had to pull my 38 revolver and shot the gunman. That marked the beginning of length. I do my thing different. Bigger four name is out there, you know. Adam's name is out there too. But my name is a name. I just do my thing. I don't do a lot of talking. I just do action. His reputation grew after that incident and his number 3380 was soon recited by Rang us every evening when they saw me coming they started running and shouting 3380 come it was a time when at least one policeman at denham town was being killed by criminals each year because back in the days those guys would stand up and trade bullets with us and we take over and we turn fire I wanna run from guys in 1978, following that shooting, he became a detective, working through the criminal investigation branch. Respect for him as a fearsome opponent of criminal activity rose as he worked out of volatile areas like West Kingston and Admiral Town Station in South St. Andrew. But nowadays, the police don't let the guys them take it over. Them take over the thing, them keep on running like them and that them have gone. You have to defend it. On a Friday, February 9, 1991, he almost got shot in friendly fire after his three-member patrol team went into Riverton City to support other law enforcers trying to capture notorious gangster Nathaniel Natty Morgan. There was a helicopter overhead looking out for Natty Morgan. Some people told us that one of Natty Morgan's gang members went into the water, so we were going up the river with an M16 weapon. Like bad luck, when we were approaching a big tree, we just saw the gunman emerge from the water with a straw in his his mouth. As he came up, we had a shootout and he was shot and killed. 
the water turned red right away so the police in the helicopter started firing at the three of us i had to suck on to the tree and pull the other policemen beside me to escape the shots it was as if what happened the next day was destined to happen leng said as he recounted the incident that saw him spending over three months at the kingston public hospital when he fell victim to a colleague's bullet I've been out there and doing a lot of things. I've been in the most shootout in police work, for number one, that you never know. Yeah. I've been involved in the most shooting in police work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a very, very dangerous situation the next day at Kencott because I wasn't even supposed to be there. I worked right through into Saturday morning and while I was on the road patrolling, I heard police control calling for Matilda's Corner Police Station and I decided to assist due to the shortage of personnel. When I drove down to Parade Square, Superintendent O.D. Smith was there addressing the men. He asked if I was coming on the raid and I said yes. I had just left the West Kingston area and went to Halfway Tree and deemed as the man with the experience with raids so Smith asked me to address the men. I told them about the things that should not happen on a raid like preventing crossfiring and when we went on the location that is exactly what happened. I was shot in a crossfire. A gunman ran from a police over the other side and came across where we were. I saw the man, went towards him and when I turned my back the policeman just came behind me and shoot. I watched a lot of cowboy shows and when I saw cowboys fly I did not know that it could be real. I flew that day. The M16 lifted me up and pitched me at the edge of the gully which was about 15 feet deep. If I had fallen in it my neck would have been broken so I held on to the bank. I was shot through my hip and when they took me to hospital I lost 8 pints of blood and suffered from internal bleeding. In a strange twist, two years after that shooting incident, Leng was again at the wrong end of the gun. The feared desert eagle. It was fired incidentally by a man who had cared for him while he was recuperating from his earlier wounds while he was was at the Kingston Public Hospital. Devon Morrison, who had worked in uh, the early 1990s as a senior porter at the KPH and with whom Leng developed a good relationship over the three and a half months he had lain there, had turned dirty, becoming Jamaica's most wanted man in 1993. He was charged with murder but escaped police custody when 12 of his armed cronies took him out of the KPH where he had gone for treatment. We had gone after him twice before but he ran away. He was wanted for numerous murders including an incident in Anatone when he burned down a house with some children in it. It was also after Morrison had been killed in a bull bay St. Andrew shootout in which Leng was involved did the former cop find out that he was the same man who had helped look after him in the hospital. Morrison cornered by police in a room fired a shot at Leng's head that cut across his forehead leaving a permanent scar. He shot at me from point blank range I heard boom and felt my hand full of blood. When I touched my forehead, everybody thought I was dead. The Point Blank Range originates from an incident that I have. I got this gunshot here and one here, like from distance from here to there. They took me to Medical Associates Hospital, where I was visited by government ministers including KD Knight, Peter Phillips and Arnold Bertram. When KD Knight saw me, he said, Jesus Christ, a God savior. Morrison was cut down in that same room by the police party. What happened to the person that shot you? History. Alright. History. Can't get so close to me and get away with it. Leng Tag Natikris, who originated from Tel Aviv in Central Kingston as the most dangerous criminal he has ever faced. Right, that's right. Oh. And um, you know. I always, I never run. I don't run. If I run, I run for cover. At one time, I was sure that Natty Chris would kill me. One Sunday morning, I was patrolling through jungle with four soldiers in an army vehicle and a police vehicle with four of us. When we reached on Pencil Street, we saw two boys get up off the sidewalk. They got up with two 9mm and ran up to Park Lane. So I came out of the car, running after them up the pathway onto Seavright Pathway. 
when I reached close to the intersection, I saw a red light. Natty Chris was there around the corner and knew that I was coming. He barely pushed out his head and shot. The shot splintered a stone and got into my eye so I could barely see. I shot back and we eventually went back to the station. Later on that day, I saw about 15 girls outside the station. One of them saying, a lie, a lie. Natty Chris told them that he had killed me. I thought I was dead too and he would have killed me if he had waited until I reached up the intersection. He feared me so much that he wouldn't give me the chance to come near him. One of his accomplices, Little Bogey, he told me when we arrested him that every time Natty Chris heard my name his belly rolled. I know because there's nobody out there really to stand up to them. They just feel like, yeah, they are, they, them take over the country and the murder rate just keep on climbing. As his reputation grew, Leng's present allowed for more open activities to occur in the Arnett Gardens, Jonestown, Trenchtown, Admiral Town and Wilton Gardens area. When I went to Admiral Town station, every bus, taxi, bread van had to stop at Admiral Town. No vehicle drove through jungle. When you walk on Penn Street, grass was in the road. I went there and changed that. Vehicle started to go through Jonestown soon after I went there. For the first six months, I walked the entire Arnett Gardens and Jonestown. We did not even have a vehicle at the station that time. I learned every crevice and corner. Every time the boys ran, you don't run them down. You just program where they exit. So when I am walking, I usually send someone to the exit. When they run, they have guns. So once they run, it will be shooting and they are not running from you unless they are wanted. And when some people want to go on TV and say things and say that, you won't see me on TV saying anything. And when people see Isaiah Lang, if somebody don't say in that, you won't know because I'm always calm and easy. I can't mean do those kind of things. No, I'm a sweet boy. This video was made possible through the continued generosity of my patrons. To become a patron, follow the link in the description below. What happened to the person that shot you? History. Right. History. You can't get so close to me and get away with it. The struggle is real. Now watch you now. A rapper crapper they represent for teach them. <clears throat> don't forget to like, don't forget to share, so make sure you subscribe. The channel is real. We'll come back for more. <clears throat>